One thing that Erskine really gave me on the seminary level was a confidence to uh, internalize scripture and to uh, have it interact with my own um, heart, uh, thoughts and, and reflections, communicate it in a, in a more confident way. And uh, that was modeled for me uh, by, by several of my professors. I think of R.J. Gore and Lloyd Melton and uh, Dale Johnson. Uh, Jack Heinsohn was my preaching professor. And, and these men really modeled what it looked like to present the gospel with clarity and with passion and with power. At the time, I felt much like a, a young Timothy. Uh, I loved the Lord. I loved his church but I wasn't the most confident person um, in terms of expressing my faith and my relationships with those men and the way they challenged me greatly instilled that sense of confidence that, um, that, that helped me even now. I received a, a, a thorough um, education in the doctrines of grace and, and what it means to be a, a reformed uh, evangelical uh, conservative pastor and believer uh, but also, uh, another thing about Erskine that's special is the diversity within the classroom. Uh, men from other traditions, uh, men of other races and backgrounds, ethnicities, uh, all mixing it up in the classroom and, and discussing and learning to appreciate uh, differences as well as similarities. I have the privilege of, of focusing on senior adults now at First Press, and uh, I spend a lot of time uh, ministering one-on-one -on -one, uh, to seniors, uh, whether it's in their homes or in uh, retirement facilities or in hospitals. And I can look back and give the Lord thanks that Erskine prepared me so well for pastoral care. Uh, I, could not, I could not do that job effectively without the training and the experience that I received at Erskine.